Well, with last, week, last week's results in the state basketball tournament, this year's campaign on the hard court has officially come to a close for all of our area boys and girls basketball teams. But what a memorable season it was. A welcome return to both a full schedule and full gyms, highlighted by a host of champions, both at the league and district level, which is the focus of this week's edition of Top Plays. We begin in the Colonial League, where the Wilson Warriors claimed league bragging rights for the first time in 13 years. Senior Nashawn Jones was a one-man wrecking crew for Mike Glovis's group. After dropping 23 points in the semis, the dynamic big man notched a baker's dozen in the championship. The seniors' night highlighted by this breakaway one-handed slam in the third quarter. An exclamation point on the Warriors' 56-50 win over top-seeded Southern Lehigh. Wilson with its third boys basketball league title overall and the program's first crown since 2009. Warriors end the season 19 and seven. Now over on the girls side of things, Northwestern Lehigh found its way back to the top of the mountain again. The Tigers facing top seeded Palmerton in a rematch of last year's championship. That a game Northwestern won easily a year ago. This year's finale was considerably closer, requiring 18 points from junior and Colonial League first team all-star Paige Severin to get the job done, including a go-ahead layup in the final minute of play to secure the 40 to 38 win for the Tigers and Northwestern's second straight league championship. Chris Deutsch's group would finish the year 21 and five overall. It was a familiar girls champion also in the East Penn Conference this winter as well. Bethlehem Catholic back in the title tilt for the fifth straight season, and the Golden Hawks would claim their fifth straight EPC crown. Behind a courageous effort from senior Stephanie Donato, who had missed the previous eight games with a concussion, but returned just in time to drop 11 points in the championship, all coming in the second half. As the Hawks held on for a 32 to 27 win over Northampton, Donato named tournament MVP as Becca earned its sixth league crown in the last seven tries. Now, not the last time the Hawks would be flying high this postseason. More from them in just a bit. Over on the boys' side, Parkland was back at the EPC title game for the first time since 2016. Sophomore Nick Koval making sure the Trojans secured their first league crown in six years. The EPC first team all-star scored in every quarter against Nazareth racking up a team-high 18 points, which included a put-away three in the final frame, all but clinching Parkland's 56-46 to triumph. With 41 total points across the tournament, Koval was given MVP honors as Parkland claimed its third league crown in the last seven seasons and earned the number one overall seed in the District 11 6A tournament. The Trojans then snapped a six-year district drought with a resounding 58-33 win over Pocono Mountain West in the 6A finale. Parkland avenging a pair of regular season setbacks for the Panthers with a no doubt about it title triumph, sparked by a game-high 29 points from Koval, which featured 16 points across the game's first 16 minutes and included a quartet of trays. Parkland with its fifth district crown in the last 10 years, Trojans finishing the year at 21 and eight overall. Parkland boys successful, Parkland girls also claiming district gold this winter, thanks to a storybook ending for senior Mo Olinwine. Missed much of the season with blood clots, playing in the championship for just the seventh time all year. Suffers a brutal fall in the third quarter, only to return and sink the game winning three, propelling Parkland to the 30 to 29 win over Northampton. Olin Wine with seven points in the finale as the Trojans capture their fourth district title in program history and the first since 2014. Parkland girls finished the year 19 and nine overall. Mentioned we'd hear more from the Hawks again. Becca on the heels of claiming its fifth straight league title, able to secure its sixth consecutive district championship with a 41-28 win over Banger. The Golden Hawks getting a game high 10 points from sophomore CeCe Hernandez, which included seven in the opening quarter as Becca was off and running from the get-go. That's back-to-back -back 5A crowns now for Bethlehem Catholic after four straight 4A titles. Hawks finished the 21 season 19 and eight overall. Six straight district titles for the Becca girls, six straight title game appearances now for the boys who grabbed their fourth district championship in the last half dozen years with a gutty 47-42 victory over top-seeded Wilson. 
Junior Alex Cercato with a team high 17 points, highlighted by a pair of scintillating coast to coast finishes. The Golden Hawks, with their sixth district crown in program history, would make it to the quarterfinals of the PIAA tournament for just the second time ever and first since 2018, before ultimately closing the 2021-22 season at 21-7 overall.